Hello, today we're going to talk about sticky data. Sticky data is a technique that you can use on your server side programming to create a more user friendly experience. Now, this is related to data validation. This isn't a great entry point into processing forms, but it's pretty close to the beginning of the discussion. So, oftentimes, data validation is done using a client side script like JavaScript, but we're not, talk talk we're not talking about that today. We're talking about how you can help your users out. Uh, using PHP. So first let's talk about what sticky data is. So we've all seen forms on the web, right? The particularly annoying registration forms where maybe you have to enter 20 things, right? And you enter something like your first name, you enter something like your last name, and you forget to do your username, right? And so the worst thing that can happen is you press login or create account and you get a little error message saying, hey, you messed up your username. Well, that's fine. I did make a mistake, but the problem is that I now have to re-enter all that other information. Now, generally speaking, uh, it's okay to make the user enter their password again, because at the point where they're being sloppy, probably a good idea to make them enter that. But it's kind of annoying that I have to enter my first name and last name again. Now, you've all seen field or forms with way more fields than this, where you got to do like addresses, cities, zip codes, all that kind of stuff. So sticky data is the technique we use to pre-populate those fields. So that was no sticky data. Here's what sticky data looks like. So same-ish stuff. I put in a name, I put in a last name, I put in a password and another password and I click login and I made a mistake. And through data validation, I detect that I made a mistake, but notice that my first name and last name are pre-populated on the form. Like I said, there's some client side techniques like JavaScript to do something similar, but this is purely being done using PHP. So let's have a look at uh, how that works. So this is just more work than we need to do. We're gonna be looking at this very simple form. So let me wipe out all of the data. Looking at a form right here, Don't I, I didn't polish it up a whole lot. So, so one time that sticky data is useful is when you're trying to get all the information in a form. The other one's with like a login. So let's say my name's Ken and I'm trying to log in, right? We've all been here before and I log in and it says bad password, try again. Well, as you know, on the web, sometimes you have to keep entering your username over and over and over again, which maybe you want the user to do and maybe you don't. Um, but wouldn't it be nice if that username could be pre-entered for us? Just right, increasing the usability of our form. And let's talk about how to do that. So sorry for the long introduction, but you need to understand what I mean by sticky data if you ever want to understand why we'd want to do it. So here's my form. We're not gonna talk about a lot of what's happening here. The form is here using the get method. There's the name of the form. There's two fields. One is named uname, one is called pass. All right, those are the two form fields that I'm expecting to be submitted. So now up to my PHP. I'm not gonna talk about the details of data validation or nice error messages because those are other videos and I'm not trying to make a 45 minute video here. So basically, here's where some of my validation happens. I'm just using is set to see if there is a username. I'm trying to see if there is a password. If there is, I create variables to get them. Otherwise, I say something's missing and I flip the flag to false. Now this form doesn't really check for the integrity of the data, it just kind of checks to see if it was submitted. But here's something that actually happens. So here, I don't even check the username. I just say if the password you entered was ASDF, then I say, welcome back, whoever the heck just uh, submitted the form. Otherwise, I say something about a bad password. Now, do you remember a minute ago? That's the message I got was bad password because all it did was check to see if the password was ASDF and it wasn't. So the question is, how can we pre-populate that username back onto the form? Well, here's how this works. See this variable called uname. Uh, here I'm checking to make sure that that data does exist. Here I create the variable to store it. Another thing that I want to point out is notice the scope issue here. See how I'm declaring this variable inside of this if block? I'm, all, I'm not. I'm declaring it outside of the if block and I'm assigning it a value inside of the if, the if block. You'll see why that matters in a second. So now here's the data validation part. Or sorry, the, uh, the uh, sticky data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the form itself and I am going to Inside of this input, I'm going to give it a value attribute, and I write value equals, I open and close single quotes. This is kind of a nice little recipe I've learned over the years, so I kind of just, I create a little empty field, and then inside of those parentheses, I open a PHP tag, 
and I close a PHP tag, and in there I just put out a simple echo of the variable which stores the thing that the user entered, which is uname. That's it. So in the event that there's nothing there, like the first time a user visits the form, there's going to be a value of an empty string. If something was submitted, then it's going to be whatever that was. That's sticky data, right? I mean, you could do this to every field on your form. You could do it to select fields on your form. I'm going to save this. I'm going to visit that page that I came from. And I'm going to refresh it. And you see now Ken's there. Now it's just my job to just spam away passwords. That's the wrong password. And right, notice I get to, all I have to do is work on is the password here. I mean, so I'm not saying you always want to do this, but if you want to create a little bit more user-friendly experience for your users, finally I entered ASDF, and now I'm logged in. Uh, there's all kinds of things here that we could improve, but uh, that is what sticky data looks like, and that's a quick and easy way to implement it. Thanks for watching.